shock. The nerve, the audacity. <sighs> okay. Easy money. It's about to be a surgical summer. Chop the tops off the coops. The cuatro ciento ochenta y ocho. The spider joint. And you know we gotta cut the heads off these snakes, right? Watch the body drop. Drug dealing aside, goose right in the side. Let's have a heart to heart about your pride. Even though you're multi, I see that your soul don't look alive. The M's count different when baby divides the pie. Wait, let's examine why. Your music for the past few years been angry and full of lies. I started at the home front, I'm on one. Dennis Graham, stay off the gram, bitch, I'm on one. You mentioned wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Your father walked away at five, hell of a dad thing. Marriage is something that Sandy never had. Drake, how you a winner, but she keep coming in last place. Monkey suit, Dennis, you parade him. A Steve Harvey suit, nigga made him. Confused, always felt you weren't black enough. Afraid to grow it, cause your fro wouldn't nap enough. Since you name dropped my fiance, let them know who you chose as your Beyonce. Sophie knows better as your baby mother. Cleaned her up for IG, but the stench is on her. A baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. You are hiding a child, let that boy come home. Deadbeat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. Ooh, Adonis is your son, and he deserves more than an Adidas press run. That's real. Love that baby, respect that girl, forget she's a porn star, let her be your world, yeah. How dare you put yay in my verses, I'm selfish, I want all of the curses, I'm pre-booking the churches, me versus three hearses, if we all go to hell it'll be worth it, already aligned with the greats, and on that same note, the only ones I chase are two ghosts, still giving you classics, that's the only thing that dates me, over your 40, hunched over like he 80. Tick, tick, tick. How much time he got that man is? Six, six, six. I got the devil flow, nigga. Six, six, six. Surgical summer with it. Snip, snip, snip. And you don't really want it with him. Surgical summer volume one. We gonna take this slow. We just gonna peel it back layer by layer. Yeah. Daytona. Album of the motherfucking year. You talking about you upset. <laughs> well, I want to see what it's like when you get angry, okay? You show me that. Push. Yo. Oh, what's up, everyone? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? At the record crate, as you can see. This is Rhythm Roulette. So, what we're going to do is I'm a blind piece. All right, that's probably to give my damn instrumental. What's the deal? What's the deal? I'm also live on Spreaker, too. Naptown Eddie Show on Spreaker.com. I'm going to put that in the comment section. I get the keyboard. Got this damn mic in my way. How's everyone doing? All right. That's how on Eddie's show. Anyway. Live on Sprinkler also. Now time on Eddie's show. Yo, man. Rhythm and let. Listen. Struggle game. Oh, I, I got to. Charlie McClain on tour. I don't know what's going to happen. Alright, god damn it, fuck this instrumental Anyway Oh man It's been so much going on in this uh, Rapid industry right now uh, We got Takashi 6 9 you got Drake, it's been five days Drake hasn't even responded Jay Prince, he's telling Drake to 
stand down. At some point, I do think Push the T went a little bit too far. At the same time, me it's part of it's part of a rap battle. People mention personal things. They they get super. They get real cruel with it. They mention your your dying friends, your abandoned babies. You can't grow your hair out because you're not all the way nigga. <laughs> Whatever, man. But this the recent rap beef that's going on is good for hip hop, and in a certain way, it's not. It's not good when. People are damn near about to lose their life over this. Chef, uh, Chief Keith, he got shot for Takashi Six Nine bullshit. Man, that's not even worth all that. Straight up, man. And Takashi Six Nine, he supposed to be a blood, whatever. Like I say, he better not do a show in Chicago. Cause if Takashi Six Nine bring his ass down here with all the Chief Keith goons, recently he said something about G Herbo. Don't you ass and get killed out here? Cause if your ass get killed, Takashi Six Nine, if your ass get killed, you will not be a martyr. Okay, you're you're no one's gonna talk about you like how they'll talk about Big L, how we talk about Tupac, Big. No one's gonna put you up there. No one can say, man, if if Takashi Six Nine, man, if he was still alive, he would have been doing such and such and such and such. Hell, motherfucker, no, nigga, you was you're garbage. I mean, he's like that guy. Takashi Six Nine is like that guy that he, if when he's around his homeboys. He got that. He got the S on his chest. You feel me? You know you've been a lot of people that's been in the streets. They got street knowledge. Know them kind of niggas that soon as they get around their homeboys, they ready to talk shit to the motherfucker, whoever that's by themselves or with with people who's less who got less people around them than they do. You know what I'm saying? Say if somebody got 10 niggas around them and they talking shit, they're going to be talking shit to the person that got only three or four people around them. But I guarantee you, you will not you will not see somebody that got 10 niggas around them. They're not going to talk shit to the person that got 30 motherfuckers around them. They're not going to talk to the motherfucker that got 30, that's 30 deep. Anyway, Takashi 6 9 is that type of dude that if you catch him in the alley by himself, with his rainbow color wearing ass, that whack ass grill he got, you catch him in an alley by himself. You slap the shit out of his rainbow ass. I bet your skittles be popping out of this little punk ass. The dude is a lame. He's a wannabe gangster. Right now, yeah, my my connection is a little fucked up right now. So just in case the video stop. He's a wannabe gangster. So that guy. Later for that motherfucker because he was never. It ain't like I ever jumped in somebody's car and was like, "Hey man, play that Takashi Six Nine. That shit gonna be dope." No. Then he got on um the Breakfast Club. He was talking shit on the Breakfast Club to Charlemagne the God. If I was Charlemagne the God, I would have slapped the shit out of his ass straight up. I would just slapped his ass just for the fuck of it. Takashi 6 9 we all know that nigga is garbage as fuck. He's garbage, man. And then you got nerd to be beefing with rappers who's better than you. You you not even worth the time, bro. Straight up. Alright, once again for anybody that's watching, the connection is a little fucked up right now, man. Trying to get that motherfucker together. But thank you for everyone that's tuning in. I'm also on Spreaker.com. Make sure y'all like my page. Naptown Eddie on Spreaker.com. Follow me. Matter of fact, yeah, follow me. And this show is going on live as we speak right now. So I just want to get y'all thoughts on Takashi 6 9 him beefing with all the rappers. And also, Drake Absence, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Because it's been five days and you ain't heard shit from Drake. But we got Jay Prince, CEO of Rap-A-Lot Records. 
He got a lot to say about it. But Drake, nowhere near. Five whole damn days. And you ain't seen this dude on Facebook. Social you ain't seen him nowhere near on social media. Instagram, Twitter, nothing. And I'm trying to find something on my phone myself where Drake is even saying anything. Once again, don't worry about the connection. But also, it's crazy as hell just going on in the rap game. Then I've heard that uh, 21 Savage and Nipsey Hustle. What the fuck going on with that? Now you... Now they really just... I heard it was a shootout involved in it also. What the hell? I don't care. You know, rap battles is good for hip-hop. Just like... Like, okay, like last year, Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma. That was good for hip-hop. But... This shit with motherfuckers getting shot at and all that? That's not cool. They leave that bullshit alone, put the guns down. It ain't that deep. It's not that deep, bro. So I just want to, once again, man, this is Naptown 80. I'm doing my show on Spreaker.com. Make sure y'all follow me on Spreaker. Because there's a lot of going on in this industry. Also, what's going on is... Tariq Nasheed, he's been getting threatened. Anybody that's hip to Tariq Nasheed, he's a YouTuber. He came out with Hidden Colors. He talks about white supremacy like a motherfucker. A lot of people hate his ass. He's, uh, his electricity around his house, I mean, put like this, his computer has been hacked. The electricity around his house has been, been fucked up. I mean... This dude is going through some shit right now. And he can't he can't even catch a break, yo. Oh. I don't got to say on that. What's up, Unk? But anyway, Drake asked him, can Drake even recover from what's going on? I mean, from the disc that Push the T to put out? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, especially if you're not writing your own shit. If you ain't writing your own shit, you cannot recover from this. You can't. It's taking five days to even respond to what Pusha T didn't said about you. You you can't grow your hair out. You, you got a baby by a porn star. That's some funny ass shit. <laughs> you can't do. Drake, where you at, bro? Now, I like Drake's songs, but I never thought he was a top lyricist because you can't be a top lyricist if you're not writing your own lyrics. That's crazy. It's difference between singers and rappers. Singers don't have to write their own shit. Rappers do. Well, not necessarily rappers don't have to write their own stuff, but at the same time, they can't go on the record and say, hell, they the best. That's not happening. So yeah, this is this right here, this Facebook Live. I'm gonna have to end this right now. Cause this shit here is getting on my fucking everlasting motherfucking nerves. Choose edit. Do you want to end this video? End. Yeah. But right now I'm just I'm here chilling at the crib. I'm just trying to get people thoughts on the current rap industry, the way it is right now. I mean, it's just... I don't have too much to say about it. I mean, it's a lot of rappers. They ain't even all that good. And they, they're they getting more credit than the rappers that I've encountered. I guess it's the promotion team. That could be the reason. I guess, it's, you know, because Ice Cube, he was saying about this regarding to Drake. He said that Drake had his time. Drake had his time. He had a three. He had a three to four year run, and I disagree with that. Drake had a damn near ten year run in this industry. Drake had a ten year run, and Pusha T came in and just he mauled his ass. 
And a lot of people are like, who's Pusha T? Who's Pusha T? That shit, it ain't, it ain't Pusha T's fault that your, your parents decide to fuck after 1995. All right? Your young ass. Pusha T been around since the 2000s. He was in a group with, with his brother, Clips. Google it. YouTube it. You see that man was a goddamn OG. And the dude ain't got... And somebody else said, the dude ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't got nothing to lose like Drake. Drake, he got... Drake got something to lose, man. He got his reputation on the damn line. You know... <laughs> Good dude calls you a deadbeat dad and shit. The fuck? Oh, uh, hell no. Homie didn't call you a deadbeat dad, famo. What you gonna say about that? Nothing. You crazy as fuck. You ain't came out with shit. You ain't said nothing. You ain't did nothing. I don't, I don't know what to say about you, bro. But yeah, this is Naptown Eighty. Uh, make sure um, give me your thoughts on Drake and Takashi Six Nine. Can Drake recover from from the diss? It's been five days. You ain't heard shit from Drake. Not a damn thing from Drake. But is Drake gonna come out? Is Drake gonna say something? Blackface Aubrey, and then he had a picture of Drake with the blackface on there. I'm totally off Drake on that one. I'm done listening to Drake. Once I seen the blackface on there, now the the story Adidon, the the kid Adidon, whatever. Okay, I heard that they just came out with a report that the baby don't even look nothing like him. The baby got blonde hair. The baby got blue eyes. So that baby might not be his. I don't care the dude's not writing his own lyrics. The dude come out with damn good songs. Don't care about that, but I do care about that damn blackface. And I know I'm going to make some Drake fans mad as hell. Don't be talking about Drake. Drake, it don't matter. Okay, Drake can just say fuck niggas and, you know what I'm saying, insult the black culture. It doesn't matter. You love Drake. It's just like Kanye. Kanye is married to an Armenian woman who is classified as white. You feel me? Classified as white. And this fool going around here saying slavery was a choice. Obama wasn't shit. And I love Trump. But this black ass ain't going to have the guts to say the Holocaust was a choice. He ain't going to say that shit. No way. No way. He's not going to say that. Well, he insult black people and he got nerve to say 15 no not 15 13 years ago George Bush don't care about black people nigga it don't seem like you care about black people and now all of a sudden people want to make excuses and say well he was on pills you know Kanye didn't know no better man get the fuck out of here Kanye knew exactly what the hell he was doing he just he, he was just full of himself you know what I'm saying once they come out of the hood they make a lot of money Come out of hood They make a lot of money They think they better Than they own goddamn people And whenever I make my You know When I make my millions I ain't gonna be Nothing like that Only motherfucker Gonna stop me Is a goddamn system But still At the same damn time Okay I'm trying to Mute this damn computer But yeah man I just want y'all Thoughts on Drake And Takashi 6 9 Dumbass Cause Takashi 6 9 If it, is it me or this dude? He just asking for it, yo. He's asking. And like I said, this dude gets shot. He's not be he's not gonna be considered as a martyr. No way in hell. Like I say, once again, no one's gonna talk about Takashi 69 after he if he when he get killed. I hate to say that. But he better not perform in Chicago. Takashi 69 better not perform in Chicago. He's whack as fuck any damn way. I don't know who's going to go to his concert. If you know anybody going to Takashi 6 9 concert and they post that shit on social media, block that motherfucker. I'm going to block him. I'm going to block him. I'm going to delete him out of my friends list. Like, you banging this whack ass rainbow wearing motherfucker? Nah. Uh-uh. I mean, you, 
You can like whoever you want to like, but at the same damn time, Takashi Six Nine. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nah, bro. So yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my rant for right now. I'm just you know trying to get y'all reaction to Takashi Six Nine. I'm on Facebook Live. I'm also on Spreaker.com. I'm also uh, this this episode will also be on demand on YouTube, SoundCloud. What else? Yeah, YouTube and SoundCloud. So, yep. So, like I said, I just want to get y'all thoughts on Takashi Six Nine. Your thoughts on Drake's absence? Is can Drake recover from Pusha T's diss? Because Pusha T pretty much bodied his ass. Drake, he always on social media. He's either on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, always doing something. And now all of a sudden. You see no Drake. Drake is absent. He's nowhere near around. <laughs> Who does that? Not in this day and age in 2018 where you can go in the studio, drop a track, mix it down, download it to SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify. What's the new one? Reverberation? And get played just like that. You put that bitch on YouTube just like Pusha T did. Grab an instrumental that's going to sound dope with, along with your freestyle and call it a day. Now, Jay Prince, this is, I mean, Jay Prince, I always respected Jay Prince because he's been a major pillar in the hip hop industry. At the same time, he said, because his son, uh, I think his son, Jazz Prince, he discovered Drake. So him and Drake got a good relationship. So he said, he tells Drake, hey, stand down. Don't respond to Push the T's attack. Hey, Miss Pam. Don't respond to Push the T's attack. And it's like, okay, if you could tell Drake not to respond to Push the T, where the fuck was you at? Excuse me. Where the hell was you at when Drake was going at Push the T? We didn't hear nothing from you, bruh. You didn't say nothing when Drake was going out to push the T. But then when push the T came out, it's like somebody swing on you, hit you on the jaw. You're like, oh, okay. You do a Della Reese on this motherfucker. Like, oh, you hit like a bitch. Come back, bust the ass with an uppercut, lay them the fuck out. And then before the referee start counting, they roll out the damn ring. No, lay down, take that count like a motherfucking man, or get the fuck back up and swing back. Don't take five days in 2018 in this rap generation to come back, in this rap, you know what I'm saying, industry to come back and say nothing. Come on, bro. I think rap beats are good. You know, I think this one in particular, when it comes to Drake and Pusha T, as long as it's not violent, it's all good. But when the one comes to Kashi 6 9 when it gets violent and people getting shot and you on social media admitting that you got that person shot, dude, you asking for it. And then especially you beefing with gang with goons here in Chicago. Don't give a fuck about your goons over in Brooklyn, New York. No disrespect to the people over in Brooklyn, New York. I heard y'all get grimy in a motherfucker over there. But you don't want a motherfucking war with no goons over here in Chicago. Especially if you are outside motherfucker. So once again, I'll sit here and say, Takashi Six Nine it is somebody that shared this video that knows Takashi Six Nine management. Do not bring your ass. What's in my hand? This is a mic. This is a uh, snowball mic. So Takashi Six Nine, do not bring your ass down here. Oh well, okay. Takashi <laughs> Six Nine, do not come down here and perform. In Chicago, don't do it. I wouldn't even do it. Heck nah, because you cause so much. You wanted to be, you want to be a blood, but at the same time, you're you're only a tough guy when you got a lot of people around you. But once again, I say this again: if somebody had to catch you by yourself in the alley with all that rainbow shit you got in your hair, somebody just slapped the shit at your ass, and Skittles will pop the fuck out. You a bitch. Straight, I mean, I hate to say this about another man, but you a bitch. You're not a gangster. Like I said, ain't like anybody that if your ass happened to get shot, once again, you're not going to be a martyr. 
Nobody's gonna say Takashi Six Nine if he was still around. Yeah, he would have been the greatest of all time. Fuck no, no they wouldn't. And like I said, I never went in somebody's car and be like, hey man, play that Takashi Six Nine, man. I heard that motherfucker go hard. No, not at all. Hey, cuz. My cuz Pam on there. Can we all just get along? That's what I've been asking, man. Can we just get along? But, you know, like I say, rap beef is good for hip hop industry, but when it comes to shooting, man, you can save that shit. We already lost Tupac and Big, man. Uh, 50 and, two, and, 50 and uh, Ja Rule, they had to be 50 Cent. I mean, Ja Rule people robbed 50 Cent at one point, and then 50 Cent people robbed them. Rob Ja Rule people at one point. So that's why these two will never get along. And speaking about that beef, 50 Cent owns most of, I think, all of Ja Rule's publishing now. So not only he ended this man's career, he owns everything Ja Rule did. Damn. Now, if I was Ja Rule, I would want to fuck 50 Cent up. That's, that's, that's on everything. Damn, man. This is crazy. So, once again... For all the hip-hop heads out there, I just want to know y'all thoughts on the current beef that's going on today. Because these new rappers out here, they're nowhere near the the rappers that was in the 90s and the early 2000s. I just want to say to get that out the way. I mean, if Takashi 6 9 would have walked up in Def Jam or Def Row Records when Suge Knight was running the damn company and said, hey, man, I want a record deal. Suge Knight would beat the shit out of Takashi 6 9 and then burn a cigar in the middle of that, in the damn tattoo 6 9 that he got on his forehead. Yeah, put the guns down, man. Just put the guns down. But you know, a lot of people that carry guns that can't fight. I understand, man. If, if you can't fight, don't talk shit. It's that simple. But anyway, um, once again, Drake, I'm on Spreaker.com. Also, Naptown Eddie Show on Spreaker.com. Make sure y'all follow me on Spreaker. So I I will be coming on Monday through Friday now. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and check that out. What's up, dude? What's up, cuz? So uh, anyway, once again, I'm talking about Drake. I'm talking about Takashi 69. Drake has been absent. He's nowhere near around. Drake, bro, five days, dog. He didn't talk about your daddy. He didn't talk about your son. He didn't talk about you being half black. He didn't talk about you. He didn't talk about everything about you. Yeah, he, you know, Drake Drake realized that trying to go against Pusha T, which he started it off first. I don't know who started it. I know Drake put out of, um, an Instagram post on the invoice saying, Saying some shit, and here come Pusha T, the story of Adidon, and boom, right there. There go uh, a song that put Drake out for how many days? About five to six days, or about a, yeah, about five to six days. Five days. Drake, where the fuck you at? You you, you looking like Nicki Minaj right now when um, Remy Ma came out with Sheether. And Nicki Minaj, you ain't heard nothing from Nicki Minaj for like two weeks? And then when she finally came back, because you know somebody was writing her damn songs for her. When she finally came back, it was garbage. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And Nicki Minaj, she, she's still trying to come back to the throne as queen of hip-hop, which you are not anymore because Cardi B has snatched that title up. Cardi B is that top chick right now in the hip-hop industry, and it's sad where the hip hop industry is because you're only playing two females right now and there's so many badass female rappers. They're way better than Cardi B. They're way better than Nicki Minaj and they don't get any airplay on GCI, Power 92, Hot 96, Hot 97. They're not getting that airplay right now. I think it's the promotion team. Payola is still around. Payola is where certain promoters and managers go to the radio disc jockeys and say, hey, play my stuff. Hey, play my artist shit. I still think that's practice right now. I don't see what the fuck is wrong with Payola. My damn self. FCC, they hating, hating ass FCC. Oh, man, I don't know if I should say that shit, but it still, it is what it is. So right now, the reason why I'm doing this uh, Facebook post and this Spreaker, Spreaker live podcast is to talk about Takashi 6 9 
Rap beef, Drake's absence. Rap beef, I still think is great for hip hop, but the when the guns come into play, hey, whoa, 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 you just took that shit way too far. You need to stop that, bro. Put the guns down. Just get a pen and a pad. Get in the damn studio. Grab a mic like I got. And speak your mind. You know, why are we worried about people who got their bag, who got their bag and living good, and we're just making them richer who can get who can who can get their rent paid by any one of them? I understand that. But music is always a part of life and especially the hip hop industry. It's been a part of not only black culture, it's pretty much it shapes the world. You know it's music. Put it like that. It's it's a part of the world. Hip hop is here to stay. And this is a part of hip hop. I understand exactly what you're saying, Evie. I I understand exactly what you're saying. Um once again, I would talk about um what's his damn name? Tarak Tariq Nasheed. His he's being attacked by white supremacists over there in LA. He just did a YouTube live and an Instagram live. And anybody know who Tariq Nasheed is? He's the director of Hidden Colors. I think, I think it's about four of them right now. I haven't seen not one yet. I ain't even seen one. But I watch Tariq Nasheed a lot, and he speak a lot of real shit. So that should be on news, too, on black news. Tariq Nasheed, he's being harassed by white supremacists, where he has to move his whole family out. And the ghost somewhere in hiding where he got the NOI as his security and he got guys out there in front of the house that he's staying at right now with AKs and shit. Ready. It's it's a crazy world that's going on right now, but I have to I just thought I'd talk about Takashi 69 beefing with Chicago rappers. I made that post earlier that you know you keep on beefing with Chicago rappers if you want to. Your ass. Your ass is going to get tombstoned. Put it like that. I understand that, but it's a waste of time giving your... It's waste. It's waste of time giving them your time. Well, <laughs> and I mean... <laughs> well, you do got a point, though. It's a waste of time. I don't think it's a waste of my time. I mean, I like... Wait, can I get this mic straight? <laughs> All right, cool. I'm a, I'm a hip-hop head. I love hip-hop. I love hip hop beef, but I just want to say, just do not put it where the guns are involved. I remember when I was a little bitty ass kid and Ice Cube was going at it with NWA. It was a fight. It was fights between the crews, but it was no guns involved. You know, Tupac versus Big E, that was sad. I was, you know, only 11, 12 years old at the time. Ended up deadly. For both parties. Jay Z, Nas. I don't remember the um LL Cool J versus Kumo D, which I think Kumo D won that battle. So now we have in 2018 Takashi 6ix9ine versus Chief Chief Keith, who's accused of being a snitch. Accused of being a snitch. And you have who else? You have 21 Savage versus Nipsey Hustle. Now a lot of you people don't even know who Nipsey Hustle is. Who's Takashi 69 is? I almost got a cough on this one. But once again, thanks for everybody that's tuning in. And Drake versus Pusha T. No response from Drake. None. Five days. Drake done? Because Ice Cube said in one of the radio shows that posted on YouTube and Facebook, he said, every rapper got their three-year run. Let's talk about Fancy Mike and what is it for. Fan- fuck about that Fancy Mike and what is it for and what does it do. I'm on Spreaker.com right now. Spreaker.com, Naptown 80 show. So make sure you, uh, and I'll give you a link to that, Evie, if you would like to have that. I'll give you a link to that. This is the snowball mic. Very good. My throat getting caught up. Anyway. 
So yes, I'm I interview a lot of hip hop artists who are way better than the rappers that they play on the radio today. I just think that some of the rappers who I've interviewed don't have the money like Takashi Six Nine and who else? Who else is whack that I was talking about a part of the beef? Takashi Six Nine, Twenty One Savage, he alright. But if you got a lot of money backing you. You can rap about Doritos and you can get pl- played on major stations out here. And that's a damn shame. Like I said, these rappers today. <coughs> damn, I finally got that up. These rappers today, if this was 20 some years ago, a lot of these rappers, and I say a lot of them because there's a lot of rappers out here that are way better than Takashi 69 they They're way better than Chief Keith. There's, there are a lot of rappers here in Chicago that's way better than Chief Keith and Takashi Six Nine, and they're not getting nowhere near the airplay these these guys are getting. That's a damn shame. I think it's the promotion team. I think it's the management. Something going on where they're not even being discovered like that. And a lot of them are independent too. A lot of them don't want to sign to a record label. And record labels today are like. It's like Jerry Curls. They outdated. Who still want to be on a record label? I wouldn't want to be on a record label. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> dude, if I die, dude, get most of my money, my my estate is gone, my royalties. Hell no. Nah. nah, man. Not at all. So that's what I'm basically talking about. Is Drake absence, Takashi 6 9 beefing with Chicago rappers. And once again, can Drake come back? From this diss, Drake, he's been one of the top dogs in the industry for almost 10 years. Here come Pusha T, you don't see Drake nowhere. I'm about to get on my phone and see where Drake been at. Drake is nowhere to be found. And I'm loving it too, because when I saw that picture of the black face, I was done with the dude. Now, I didn't too much care to get into him being a deadbeat dad because... It might not be his damn son. From what I hear, the little boy had blonde hair and blue eyes. Time my Drake, Drake ain't got no damn blonde hair and no blue eyes. But I was still done with the black face on there. That black face is just, nah, bruh. I can't fuck with you when you got that black face on you. No way. So, ain't nobody gonna do shit. Okay. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I just want your thoughts on Drake. Can he recover from this? Ain't nobody said nothing. Can he recover from this? All the anybody that's a hip hop head. Can he recover from this? So this mic is a snowball mic, and I got this connected to the computer because right now I'm on my podcast, Naptown Eddie Show, on Spreaker.com. Fam, you still riding Drizzy? Ah, I didn't even hear about what. I hear what about the mic? Uh. Fuck you, hip hop. Fuck you, music. Fuck you, art. Fuck you, artist. Fuck you. Fuck you, design. Oh, he must be a foreigner because he just said fuck like um Conor McGregor. Fuck you, hip hop. Fuck you, music. Fuck you, art. Fuck you, artist. Fuck you, design. Is he talking about designer? I don't know. I didn't hear any. I didn't hear what about the mic. It's a snowball mic. Snowball mic connected to the computer. I'm on podcast. And I'm also doing this on Facebook Live. Fam, you still riding Drizzy? Man, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still riding his ass. <laughs> I'm riding to... Dude, nigga, you gonna come back? <laughs> you gonna come back, bro? You been gone for five days. And my throat just fucking killing me right now. So, yeah, man. Once again, I thank y'all for tuning in. And how was everyone's day going so far? Monday, a lot of people didn't went to work. I got to get my ass out there because I'll be doing Uber, Postmates, DoorDash. I think it's one of the best things to do out here. But, yeah, that's that's been my rant about. So, once again, comment on the session later on. Let me know your thoughts. This is Naptown Eddie. Over and out.